Forest Hill Church on the corner of Leanne Monticello in Cleveland Heights is committed to discovering God's call, celebrating the Spirit's presence, and witnessing to Christ's transformative power. Our congregation is committed to being a welcoming community, warm, diverse, and inclusive, a learning community, continually exploring and deepening our faith, a worshiping community, regularly participating in engaging worship, a witnessing community, participating in faithful social action, and a discerning community, prayerfully discovering and responding to God's call for our lives. Thanks to the generosity of our members and friends, our congregation punches above our weight with its commitment to racial reconciliation, immigration reform, and addressing hunger and homelessness at the individual and societal level. Our co-pastors, Veronica Goins and John Lentz, are supported by a small but committed staff. Interim Music Director, Ken Ying Tan, New Director of Family, Youth, and Children, Amy Wheatley, Office and Communications Manager, Antoinette Richardson, Part-Timers, Nita Clark in Finance, and Peg Weisbrod, our Website and Database Administrator, Tracy Long in Child Care, and our Building Manager, Ann Donkin, and her staff of Anthony Bland, Michael Broadwater, Stavros Gaziz, and Lisa Richardson. The 2021 stewardship theme for our beloved community is generosity in hardship. Illustrating Hebrews 13, 16, do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. As you discern how to support the church's many ministries with your financial gifts, we hope you enjoy this brief video highlighting the past 12 months of Forest Hill Church demonstrating generosity in hardship. The Deacons started our 2019-2020 program year with a welcoming fall kickoff festival on the front lawn of the church. The Family, Youth, and Children Ministry, under former interim director David Wigger, organized a family bash at Horseshoe Lake with more than 70 families and friends, created a special space for children during worship on Sundays, held a Christmas cookie carnival, and began podcasting the Children's Pathways program. The Adult Education Ministry hosted Bible studies and educational programs, and in February, the year-round Black History Education Program presented an interactive learning experience, 50 years still climbing, next stop, mountaintop. The program was complete with outings, fellowship, and small group activities, including a base camp to kick things off, a cooking class with Chef Eric Wells, a fusion-themed soul food potluck, and our annual Black History Month concert. Our Greater Cleveland Congregation team helped GCC meet its goal of bringing over 1,000 citizens to meet with county representatives in support of mental health and addiction crisis diversion centers. The Immigration Task Force facilitated the release and hosting of three young men who fled the horrific massacre of their village in Burkina Faso only to wind up in prison while their asylum case was pending. The true nature of our congregation's generosity and hardship was proven when COVID-19 forced us to close our building and cancel all in-person activities. Within days, the worship ministry began live streaming Sunday worship services, broadcasting our inspiring preaching and world-class music, not only to friends and family across the United States, but Nicaragua, the Virgin Islands, Nigeria, India, and beyond. The stewardship ministry's new text giving option provided a socially distanced method of collecting the offering. 
Family, youth, and children activities also continued as David Wigger and Tara Beverly offered weekly Sunday school classes via Zoom, storybook Bible time videos, a Holy Week virtual art show, an Alleluia Voices Easter celebration. and messy worship opportunities. The adult ed ministry supported pastors Lentz and Goins in their online offerings, Pastor Lentz with his 20-minute Bible studies and Pastor Goins with her series on grief. Church Growth offered new member classes on Zoom and continued to welcome new members for a total of 16 new members since last fall. Paul Jennings helped the Abundance Food Pantry continue serving our neighbors in need by moving its grocery distribution to curbside pickups, keeping both volunteers and recipients safe and healthy. Instead of serving only those from a certain geographic area, the pantry offered assistance to all who showed up, often serving over 250 families each week. Using endowment funds, the session approved a COVID-19 emergency relief fund to support those in our congregation and the greater community in need due to the coronavirus. Deacons, Justice, and Mission members, and others created two different programs, a community grants program chaired by Mark Chupp and a mutual aid network chaired by Asia Hales. And through it all, our faithful deacons continue to administer to the needs of the church and their care groups while maintaining safe social distancing. All that you've just seen came from your gifts and your trust that God is at work at Forest Hill Church. We trust God that this congregation's financial support will be more than enough to fulfill our beloved community's many missions and continue gathering to worship God, caring for our building's upkeep, and maintaining our staff leadership. That is why, in this time of financial uncertainty, we ask you to approach your 2021 pledge faithfully, sacrificially, and generously. As you listen to members Angela Sanders, Marina Grant, and Dean Seek explain why they support Forest Hill Church financially, please prayerfully consider increasing your pledge during the 2021 Stewardship Campaign. Hi, my name is Angela Sanders. I've been coming to Forest Hill since 2016, and I am currently the elder for church growth, and I also serve on the Mutual Aid Committee. I wanted to come to Forest Hill because I would drive past it and I would see um, the gay pride flag hanging outside, and that really spoke to me. And I continue to worship here because it feels like home and continues to feel more like home every year. Hello, my name is Marina Grant. About a year and a half ago, I determined it was time to leave the church that I had been a member of for several years. I was looking for a church that, had, that was diverse, had wonderful music, great preaching, and a welcoming, friendly congregation. I found that at Forest Hill Church when I started visiting last June, a year ago, June. Since that time, I became a member in February. I've joined the chancel choir and I have become a member of trustees. I'm Dean Seek. I value Forest Hill Church because of its sincere commitment to justice. It's incredible giving to a variety of community organizations, it's faithful use of its assets, uh, which I have had an opportunity to learn more about on justice and mission ministry. And now with the uh, COVID project that's been taken on by the session, the church and, and, and the ministry that the church has provided to Leonor and our current guest from Burkina Faso. These efforts evidence to me a genuine commitment to justice, 
and provide valuable assistance to people in need.